Welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm doing a Wolf Pit signature recipe, pepper stout beef. You may have seen me do it before on other grills, but today I'm doing it on the Rectech pellet smoker. It's smoky, it's spicy, it's tender, and it's delicious. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a five pound boneless chuck roast, and I'm going to coat it liberally with Worcestershire sauce, and then a very generous coating of kosher salt, and this may look like a lot of salt, but it's a pretty big roast followed by an equally generous coating of black pepper. And now continue this process until the whole roast is coated. Once all sides of the roast are seasoned, it's ready for the smoker. I have the Rectech preheated to 250 degrees. Now I'm going to smoke the roast until it gets to 165 degrees internally or until it has a nice color and bark to it. After two hours, it's looking pretty good, but it doesn't quite have the color I want, so I'm going to let it go for 30 more minutes. Now while the roast continues to smoke, let's put the rest of our ingredients together. We have bell pepper, red onion, fresh garlic, Worcestershire sauce, or whatever you want to call it. And the key ingredient, Guinness Extra Stout. For a full printable copy of this recipe and many more, visit the Wolf Pit blog. Now just give everything a thorough mix. I forgot to mention, my original pepper stout beef recipe has jalapenos in it, but the crowd I'm feeding today doesn't like spicy, so I left them out. After two and a half hours, the chuck roast is only at 155 degrees, but it looks absolutely perfect. So into the braising mixture it goes. Now I'm gonna tightly wrap the pan with aluminum foil. Now this goes back into the Rectech, or you can finish it in your oven. Once it's foiled, it doesn't really make a difference. I've bumped the heat up to 325 degrees. I'm going to start checking for tenderness at 200 degrees. A chuck roast is a very tough cut of meat and very stubborn. And just because that temperature says 200 degrees does not mean it's tender. After braising for two and a half hours, the temperature is at 200 degrees. And now I'm going to start checking for tenderness. Now simply take a fork and start poking and pulling around. Now see how there's resistance when I'm trying to pull? I can immediately tell this is not even close to being tender. And now I'm going to rewrap in foil and come back every 30 minutes and check for tenderness. Now let's give it a check after braising for 3 hours. And we're making some progress. It's getting a little tender in spots, but you can still see there's resistance. When there's little to no resistance at all, that's when the roast is done. So I'm going to wrap it back in foil and let it go for 30 more minutes. And now after braising for three and a half hours, I think the chuck roast has finally given up. Now watch how easily the fork goes in and just pulls the meat right apart. That's when you can tell it's done. Now simply continue shredding the meat until it's all shredded and discard any big pieces of fat. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and come back every Tuesday and Thursday for new cooking videos. Once all the meat is pulled, I'm going to put it back into the Rectech uncovered for 30 minutes just until the liquid reduces a little. And here's the finished pepper stout beef, and there's many different ways you can eat it. You can eat it over rice, over pasta, you can eat it by the handful if you like. I won't judge you, it's your pepper stout beef, eat it how you like it. But personally, I like to eat it on a fresh baked roll with horseradish, mayonnaise, and pepper jack cheese. 
Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button and come back every Tuesday and Thursday for new cooking videos.